Hi everybody and welcome to Williams TV. As you will notice, Karun is not with us this weekend. He is too busy having fun at the Monaco Historic. But I am joined by Lance and Sergey, who are going to answer a few questions that have been sent in from our fans. So, are we ready for this? Yes. yes good to go. Okay, Lance, so the first question we have for you, it seems that you don't go back to Montreal that often. Do you still consider it home and what do you miss most about being there or not being there so much? Yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I don't really um, get the chance to go go back much. Um, and the answer to your question is yes, it is still home for me. Uh, always will be. Um, what do I miss most about home? Um, yeah, it's, it's tough to think of one thing. I mean, it's kind of just everything. It's that homey, homey feeling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it, it's where I grew up. It's uh, it's um, you know, it's 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 a big. It's been a. a it's impacted my life. Uh, you know, um, in, in many ways. Um, and uh, yeah, it turned me into the the man I, I am today. You know, um, it's it's. It's always great to go back, brings back a lot of memories, and uh, you know the race is, is just around the corner, so I can't wait. Yeah, it's easy, isn't it? It's good. Um, Sergey, thinking about Russia, uh, Russia doesn't really have a... Um, oh, hey, you can share both. We, we, can, we can share, share them all. Um, it doesn't really have a really motorsport history. What or who was it that was your inspiration for actually getting into Formula One? Yeah, right. Uh, not yet. Uh, the history is just coming now and hope all of us were building it yes um, for me it's actually all started when I was like really a little kid watching the F1 race back in the I don't know I was three four years old uh, watching the F1 race with my dad and it was uh, I think Michael Schumacher fighting with the uh, with the Mika Hakkinen and that was uh, the time since uh, you know I got a bit crazy with this and uh, yeah, since then I was always dreaming about it, to be honest. And uh, yeah, but uh, apart from that, uh, to answer your question, yes, obviously Russia, ad especially in those years, had not much history at all, especially in uh, you know in F1 itself. So yeah, so hopefully it will turn around with us presenting here now for the younger kids, which are watching F1 races this year. So. Um, this is a question that's for that's been sent in for Lance, but actually you can probably both answer it. Um, as racing drivers, you have to be very strict with your diet. When your trainer's back is turned, do you ever cheat with food? Um, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> you can be honest. Yeah, no, always. <laughs> um, honestly, yes and no. Um, I kind of I keep my trainer involved with my cheats so because you know when you cheat. I entitle myself <laughs> a weekly cheat. Uh, I am human after all, so um, just like everyone, you know, um, I want, uh, you know, uh, my ice cream from time to time. I was going to say, what is your is. cheat food? Yeah, uh, ice cream. we're not going to get into detail about that, <laughs> but uh, it, 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 um, it, it, it depends. Um, but yes, I, I occasionally, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm loose on my diet, but 90% uh, of the time I'm, I'm on it, so. Uh I would say really much the same. Uh, I always try to be strict, uh, but for sure you. There are some days where it's actually not a bad idea to to cheat a bit, uh, helps recover as well. So, but obviously it's not something you know I'm doing, hiding behind the door somewhere. It's <laughs> you know it's yeah it's something. You spot my ice cream tub over there in the corner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's uh, it's all really fair, and you know you can find a good moments for it when it's actually could be quite a useful thing. So you know. Um, the next question is, if you hadn't been a racing driver, Sergey, what would you have wanted to be? I think, as you can guess, I uh, have an engineering degree, so it doesn't matter what, but I was always interested in um, in cars, uh, in, in both aspects, you know, it can be interesting in racing, the, the cars itself. At the same time, I know many people who love racing, but they don't care about the cars itself. Rather than me, I kind of cover both sides. I love racing the cars, but same as I do, just just love the cars, love uh, technology and uh, you know all the engineering behind it. So I, I'm really sure whatever it will be, uh, it could be or it will be in the future. It will be always uh, related to the to the cars or whatever from me. And 
question for you here, Lance. You've got some interesting sponsors. Well, Bombardier, JCB, we have in the team. Have you ever, well, the question here is, have you ever taken the controls of a Bombardier jet or have you driven a JCB digger? I Would think the Bombardier like jet, <laughs> that's not a good idea. Um, <laughs> Uh, I would actually, yeah, I was, I was quite interested to take flying lessons, um, you know, when I, when I was younger, but then Formula One kind of took up most of my time. So you time. didn't do the flying in the No, end. but, but <laughs> I have plenty of time, uh, to get that done. Um, JCB, uh, machine, no, I've never, um, taken tr control of a digger. Um. You'd like to, maybe? I'm, I'm down to dig some holes one of these <laughs> days, yeah. Yeah, so get you up for that as well? fun. Put you in Make a, a little like rally track or something yeah. like that. We can yeah. we can maybe arrange that. <laughs> maybe we add that to the list of things to do. Um, most of us have a guilty pleasure. Do you guys have one? And what is it? How many <laughs> fans are watching right <laughs> now? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's um, maybe think about this one. Yeah, oh. but not specific. Maybe the pizza. One of them. That's that's that's, that's yeah. one of but them. But I I don't feel any guilt when I cheat because <laughs> I <laughs> let it all go. No. And it's allowed as well. So. Few. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go. No, it's okay, lunch. Get back to you on that one. Maybe, maybe we'll move next on time. On that one. Let us maybe, let us think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> moving on to the next question. Um. Question for you, Sergey. You still live in Mon uh, Moscow at the moment, although I know you're between Os um, Oxford it's and Moscow me. as well. Do uh, like many of the other drivers on the grid, do you have any aspirations that maybe one day you'd move to Monaco or Switzerland, maybe? Or are you happy where you are? Um, to be honest, uh, that's, that was a good question you made to Lance in the beginning. Uh, yes, I'm uh, currently actually living much more in UK than rather spending time at home. But uh, I do miss a lot Moscow. I do really like the city and uh, I do really enjoy being there and uh, coming there. So, yeah, I do like Monaco, obviously it's a nice place and everybody knows this and, you know, there are many advantages of staying there, but I would say if I, if I could choose, I would always remain with Moscow, to be honest, and uh, unless, I mean, yeah, I move, I move to UK because the amount of the time I need to be at the factory, it's just much more convenient, but apart from that, uh, I would say Moscow is my city and uh, I would be happy to, to stick with that. Quite an interesting question here is when you're in the car, do you think in English or Russian? Actually, I think uh, I'm thinking in English, to be honest. That's why many of the interviews, to be honest, I'm doing, it's, uh, I found it much more easy to talk in English because kind of you first think in English because for many, many last couple of years I was always talking in English with uh, all my teams. And then when you ask something which is more detailed, then you always try to kind of translated in your head to back to Russian rather than initially thinking on Russian. Um, yeah, so th that's quite interesting. Yeah, so you do think in English. You speak a few languages as well, don't you? How many languages do you speak? Uh, two. French, okay. English, a little bit of Italian, but I'm not going to say I'm fluent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we may test you that one day in an interview. Um, final question then, obviously just we are here in Spain, um, it's the race this afternoon. Obviously, it was a bit of a tough day yesterday, tough weekend. What, what realistically are you guys hoping for in the race? What's, what's the best you reckon we can achieve today? What would be an ideal for you? Um, I mean, yeah, it's uh, you know a, a challenging weekend, but you know we, we kind of expected it coming into the weekend. Um, yeah, I mean, anything can happen on Sunday. Uh, we've seen it before. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, d definitely try and get a good start, gain some positions, and then, uh, who knows, there could be some rain. Uh, it is a little cloudy out there, so it's all, all up for grabs. Yeah, I would say really much the same, really. Um, you know, first of all, we need to be sure what the weather is doing, because when we just got here, it was not very obvious. Uh, I mean, it's tough we can't, but uh, it's not that we kind of take the race as a test. Uh, we're still looking ahead, we're looking racy, and uh, you know, as many things can happen, so yeah, uh, let's make it going. And uh, for sure, the points are quite far away, and uh, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say it's very, very easy or very, very possible, but you know, it's a long race, so whatever the weather is doing, and many things can happen, so we never give up. Give up. 
sounds like a good note to end on. Never give up. Um, good luck for the race this afternoon then, guys. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. And we will be back in Monaco with Karun with Williams TV.